Not cancer. This is Brandy. Welcome back if you're uh, returning. Welcome if you're new. This is a general message for March of 2022. Okay, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on? Follow your own rhythm, number five. Five is major change, folks. But as you can see, she's not happy. She's not sad. She's being. And it's like she's going against things. People may not want her to, but she feels is right. Right for her, him, however you want to put this. This is feeling the motions that you need to do, however that pertains to in your life. And you can feel it, and you're stripping down the belief systems that maybe other people have put on you um, in your life. Okay? Following your own rhythm, because there's a new way of doing things. There's a new way of doing things and we can't rely on the old patterns anymore. And I think that's why you're, you have this idea of where you need to flow, what you need to do. And that's why it's very important that you follow this and allow these changes. Five of the major changes. It's also spiritual. It represents Taurus. We have Leo, the fifth house, number five. So this has everything to do with like your fifth house, which is, you know, um, romance and friendships and promotion, right? I radiate pleasure, creativity, self-promotion, crowds, children, childlike energy. Getting your energy back is what I would like to say by knowing what it is that you need to um, kind of release to go towards the thing that you're wanting to go towards. One, two, three, four, if you've been seeing these numbers. Long-term benefits to give up now would be a waste. It's right around the corner. Because it's like you've been feeling things out, but you know you can no longer... I feel like someone or something's been trying to detour you and take away your your childlike energy, your flow. All right, put it that way. Trying to get you out of um, the idea or this this spotlight. I don't know. There's, there's something about being yourself, and it's almost like to give up um, and to cave in wouldn't do no justice. In any, any format of your life, it would do you no know, justice to stop all of a sudden um, following what it is you know you need to follow. The Nine of Wands, as I say that, and which comes to the long-term benefits and to give up now would be pointless. It would be such a waste because it's right around the corner. Nine is before the ten, and ten is the completion. Ten is the dropping you know, everything. And he is walking in the snow to deliver the mail. Come rain or shine, he knows it's the right thing to do. Someone said, oh, don't go outside. It's too cold. That's silly. Call in. And you're like, mm, no, my promotion is in nine days. Or, um, you know, this is my retirement. It's something in the, that form. Ten. Which is depicting a man in cuffs right now. If you're with someone, well, this is time to give up on them. Go your own path. Okay? Go your own path. <laughs> that being said, you have the 9 and then you have the 10. It's been very burdensome because you've had to do everything on your own. Um, it's definitely like, why am I doing this? Why am I trying? Because there is a payoff. This is walking your own path. This is walking your own path. Um, doing a lot of reflecting the shadow, a lot of what's kept you sad, uh, disappointed. And it's like you know you have to follow through with this now. Because you, can, you can't be there anymore. Okay? You can't be stuck in that place anymore. And this is clarity. This is a vision that you have for your life to be better. Because this is follow. This is a... 
artistic endeavor. This is an idea. Um, and that's why it's the long-term benefits, the 1234, the 1234, right? You've been seeing those synchronicities. Cool. If you haven't, you might start, right? This is for a better life. Preparation meets opportunity. Um, two people in your life, okay, go towards the healthier one. Ditch the one that's in jail. This is a success story for you as long as you follow your own path. That's judgment that just flipped out. That is the past. She's reflecting the old self, the past life self, uh, the portion that has to die off in the life in order to follow her new dream, in order to follow her new path, her whatever. Taurus and Libra showing up, which is the home. Um, going towards the person you love. Going towards the stable person because why? The Four of Swords and the Devil. No offense to the Devil. We have just been caving in too much to someone's poor behavior. Cancer. The laziness. We've been reflecting it. Lying to ourselves about how happy we are. And hiding that shadow aspect. And now... It's the time to carry it out. Number five is also the marriage. Whoever is married. Time to follow your own path. Time to follow your own path, babe. If this person just keeps getting in trouble. Patience. Keep enduring. That's that nine of wands, right? Keep enduring. Keep enduring. Career, focus on your goals is what I want to point out. Focus on your goals. Focus on yours, one more, please. Cancer. Because you need a real support system and what you've been doing, who you've been around. Yeah, they've not been your people. They're not in alignment with you. They're not in alignment. And it's like you're about to discover, <laughs> discover, discover a whole new uh, plateau, a light, an energy. As I say that, you've seen that flash of light, right? A light that helps you through the dark. So I say, don't give up now. If this is the only encouragement you get for a better life, don't give up now. Leo again. Leo showing up, standing in the spotlight, um, being heard, walking your own path. It's a lot to do with children. March 17th, right? Clearing out old debts. The sun. The sun, folks. Learning that we have to let this go. This is a debt now. It's been holding us back. It's not been doing us any good. We have to keep going on whatever plan we have so we can be happy, so we can get the dream job, so we can have the creativity, so our kids can be happy, so we can be at the people that we're supposed to be with. This is a major yes, major yes, especially around the summer. Yep, it has to do with a very overbearing mindset, partner, something. There's no beauty in there anymore, and this is the truth of it. We've been around people that have kept us stuck and in this stagnant energy and Pluto and Scorpio are coming to show us there's a better way and we're going to be maybe e-commerce, right? A lot of contract sales. This is not you being put on hold. This is trying to break you out of an emotional stagnancy and get you moving where you're not dependent anymore on that job, that person, you got to follow your own path, heal, stand out, be heard. Number seven, but this one is failure. Seven of Pentacles, it's very dark. We can't see. The light is coming to try to show us. It's not a failure, it's a, it's a new path to work together with someone like that actually wants to work together in a partnership of any kind. Business, friendship, um, 
you know? And, and yeah, the past is holding you back. The past is holding you back and it's time to let it go. So you can be happy. <laughs> be happy, man.